What's going on guys? It's your boy GS and today we are bringing you guys a very special video. I am playing with a good friend of mine, my brother from another mother, somebody I have nothing but respect and love for. My homeboy 318 Crunk Dog, aka Koopa, BKA 31 Super, JKA, you got too many damn names, Koop. Just pick one name, Koop. He goes by the name of Koopa, man. Most of you guys know, but in case if you guys don't, you need to subscribe to him like right now. Like pause the video and subscribe to him. You guys know I'm not gonna put you in the wrong direction when it comes to the great biblical gameplay. This man I have nothing but love for. I consider him a brother, not even a friend. I consider him family. Annotation above, link in the description. Do me a favor and go ahead and subscribe. He puts out oh, just nothing but some of the best content you guys will see. And uh, again, he's he's not even a friend. He's family. So I'm not asking you. Check him out. And you may. No, no, no. You need to subscribe now. This man is absolutely biblical when it comes to the gameplay. So um, I have the Dolphins. I'm the Dolphins. I have the Cowboys. He has the Seahawks. And if you guys know Cooper, you guys know he really enjoys running the ball a lot. And I decided to go with the Cowboys because, I, you know, I like what they have on offense. And, um... You know, he went with the Seahawks, and I, I kind of thought that was a bad matchup. We didn't discuss teams or whatever. We just kind of picked them. And I was like, eh, the Cowboys really don't have a really great run-stopping uh, defense. I mean, they, they do. They got good linebackers, but you need to know how to work linebackers defensively. I'm not, and I'm not that type of defensive player to put pe people in the right spot to make stops. You know, like Dream Killers and T-Raw and IMAP, they're really good. Me, I'm not so good, so I should have went with more of a run-stopping team to counteract. But nonetheless, we have a high-powered offense. So, you know, we feel comfortable. You know, as long as we get some stops and we could do things on offense, you know, we'll be okay. As you can see, Cooper's feeding the beast in Marshawn Lynch. And he's doing what he does. You know, he's moving the ball forward. He's, you know, rumbling, bumbling, stumbling, staying on his feet. And he ends up scoring a touchdown. So, um, one thing I did not notice because obviously, I guess DeMarco Murray's injured. I did not have him in this ball game, and I did not notice until I was editing this video. If you notice, I have Jones as my running back. And if you guys know, DeMarco Murray's an absolute glitch in this game. That man is a beast. And I didn't have him in the game. Completely my fault. I wasn't paying attention. I, I, I didn't even notice that while I was playing this game. But nonetheless, we still have Jones in there. He's really, really fast. So, um, right there, we're moving the ball pretty good. First quarter comes to an end. We have five-minute quarters. So, right now, I'm in really good territory to go ahead and, um, you know, score a touchdown. Tie this game up. You know, we get ball back at halftime. So, you know, we're looking good. Uh, right here, we end up going to Jones and we get a first down. And right here, this is where Murray would have made a difference. Notice how Jones got tackled on the one. Murray would have fell forward. I know that for a fact. He would have fell forward and scored. Right in. Did somebody give Koopa a defensive domination guide? He, we back up and he has maximum coverage. But we find a hole in the defense. But he drops the ball. And fourth down we decide to go for it. Because when you're going against a top level player like Koopa. You need as many points as you can get. But unfortunately we drop another ball in the end zone. So there's two drop passes in the end zone. We end up getting Jones. Well, I still didn't even realize then. Who doesn't get into the end zone because he's too small. Murray would have fought, fell forward for an end zone for a touchdown. So we have missed opportunities on that first drive. But it's like, you know what? It's okay. We get ball back at halftime. And we end up stopping him on the first drive. And Cooper ends up punting like a good man that he is. You know, shouts to him. Shout out to him for actually playing, you know, um, legitimately when he needed to and punting the ball. So now we have a chance to tie the ball game. And again, not knowing that Jones is in my starting um, field right there did not know it, but right there we throw an interception. Pretty much there was nobody open. We just throw it up and hope for the best. I mean that's pretty much a punt right there anyway. So um, again he goes back to the run, and I don't run commit because I don't like run committing. To me it's kind of broken, and I really just don't feel comfortable run committing. So I'm kind of just letting the defense play out, even though I know he's running to the left. He knows I know he's running to the left. So I'm kind of just letting the computer see if they can just go ahead and stop him. I'm calling some blitzes. I really don't want to run commit. Because to me, again, it, it's just broken. And Mershon is too good. He'll find a hole and he'll just exploit it. So, um, you see we're down 14-0. and zero. Now we're like, come on, just don't get blown out. I mean, Cooper is a guy who's a top-level player. As well as, you know, Mav and Chappie. I roll with some of the best Madden players on earth. 
you know, especially on YouTube, I should say, not not, not on Earth. Even though I definitely consider these guys top level players. But right there, look, the defensive domination guy 2.0. But again, we find a seam, and uh, we end up getting uh, first down right here. And again, when you got, when you got somebody like Koopa, you know the the Madden crew that I roll with, I am clearly by far the least talented Madden player of the group. Now, I think Mav's mission in 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 his YouTube life is to just get me to be a better player. As we end up scoring a touchdown right there, a much needed touchdown before half. Um, he asks me all the time, like, "Yo, GS, we need a lab. We need to teach you some defense. I know some things I could teach you. You can improve your defense. The snap of a finger, so you can stop struggling on defense." But it's like, you know what? I know I'm an above average player. I'm not a great player like Cooper, Chappie, or Mav. But I like being an above average player. You know, I, I don't like, um, I don't want to be able to dominate everybody like these guys do. You know, I like being able to be good enough to put up a fight against these guys. And so far, that's what I'm doing. You know, we're going to have time with an opportunity to tie the ball game. And, you know, hopefully we can go ahead and capitalize on that and, and you know, be able to score. So right now, again, we don't have Murray in the game. Murray is one of the best running backs in Madden, and I'm not using him. It's frustrating me even watching, knowing I don't have Murray in the game. And now that I, I think about it, that first drive would have been a touchdown with Murray, but unfortunately we don't have him in. So I think we should have been possibly getting, getting ready to, to take the lead here, but we're going for a tie. And right there, we get a drop pass, so it's third and five. And again, we end up just sneaking over the first down with Bryant. And, you know, Cowboys have many, many weapons. So, you know, a lot of people to utilize right here. So, uh, right there, great defensive play by Cooper. He baited me right there. He went for the streak. And then he saw the post and he just broke it as soon as the route was cutting. Tremendous defensive play by him. Look at We get a fumble and we don't recover. I really feel like Madden doesn't want us to win this game. We're down 21-7, to but we know we can score. You know, we know we can move the ball outside of it. Look at this. Look at this. What am I supposed to do, Madden? What am I supposed to do? Give me a break. I'm going up against one of the best players. I need I need to help. Not him. Don't help him. He's already better than me. You need to help me. You need to give me a chance. Stop helping him. Right there. Uh, right here, second and long. And we back up and we look. And I, I've made that throw lots of times. I know Tony Romo has the arm strength to fit that in before the safety gets there. If you want to rewind it, I precision towards the left. It should have been towards the, the out of bounds instead. He precision towards the hash mark and that throw interception. And again, I know Tony Romo has that throw power to make it. But for whatever reason, he precisioned it wrong. And he kind of quack quack threw a rubber ducky. And we threw an interception. But thankfully, we stop him so we get the ball back. So it's like the interception never even happened. So now, you know, we're deep in, in our territory on our side of the field. So we want to be able to move the ball. And there's Mary. Look at him breaking tackles when he's in there. Only three rushes. He was only in there when uh, Jones got tired. And, man, I really wish I, I knew that from the beginning of the game. Um, but you can't do anything about it now. You know, we're down. And we need to make things happen right here. So it's third and six. And uh, right here, we're looking. And that is what should have happened the last time I threw that route. He squeezes it in, and we end up scoring a touchdown. And I felt like that's what should happen last time. But it's a seven-point game at this point. And I know what he's going to do. He knows that I know what he's going to do. He's going to run to the left. So, you know, we just precision down. We don't want to precision to the left. Because, again, to me, precision towards an angle is broken. Your best bet is precisioning down and hoping they make a play for you. But Mershon is just that good where he's really tough to bring down. Unless it's DeMarcus Weir one-on-one. I'm really going to have trouble bringing him down. And you can just look at the great game he's having on the ground. You know, he's really, really doing a lot of things. Um, right here, we end up getting a crucial third down. We really need this stop right here. Fourth quarter, do we come through? And our defense actually does. Our defense comes through. He goes for it on fourth down. And we call our own fag D. We're, you know, we call our own version. We figure, you know what? Let's give him a taste of his own medicine. And he throws in the coverage. And now we're like, okay, this is perfect. The offensive genius has an opportunity to go ahead and tie this ball game. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to drive down the field. And I'm going to score this game-tying touchdown. All I need to know is that look at all the time we got standing in that pocket. All I need to know is that are we going to stop him on offense we stopped him a couple times he's not stopping me i know it. he knows that we're moving the ball pretty well the only problem is am i going to be able to stop him am i going to get the ball back to put myself in a position 
to win the game. Right there, we get a fumble, but thankfully, we end up recovering. Time is ticking, so this is crucial. Right here, second and 20. You know, uh, he calls the defensive domination play again. And, and again, it's all jokes when calling the fag. The, um, I'll get to that in a second. Um, but right here, we go over the middle to Pride, and he ends up fumbling, and he recovers. I'm like, come on, Madden. Stop helping better players win the game. I should have had that. I should have been... I should be preparing more plays for my game time touchdown. And again, um, you know, the, the fact is nothing but compliments toward my offense. You know, he let me know um, he felt like he needed max coverage at times to stop the biblical warfare beast on offense. So, um, you know, whenever I saw it, it was nothing but a compliment. And um, I, I kind of struggled. I really need to practice more with it. Um, I did okay with it, you know, this game, but uh, that's something that I feel is a weak point in my game I really got to work on. You know, whenever I see Fagdy, I kind of just get like, oh my God, who am I going to throw to? Who's open? Nobody's open. And I kind of just, you know, get out of my zone. But um, as you can see, he's running the ball pretty well. It's third and 11. We really need to stop here. We stop him. And his kicker has enough leg to kick this field goal. And that's pretty much the end of the game. You know, we're down two possessions with a minute left. We can't really do nothing at this point. I believe we just end up... Um, throwing an interception here. We're trying to just make something happen. And uh, uh, Cooper ends up scoring a touchdown. And then I scored a touchdown last play of the game. So um, we gave it our all, but we ended up coming just short. I felt like a lot of things could have went differently. Um, you know, we had fumbles. We had not our star players in the game. A, a lot of things, you know, could have happened differently. But he ends up winning the game. Great game by him. Again, go ahead and subscribe to him if you're not already. Go ahead and show him love. Let him know GS went ahead and sent you. As always, it's your boy GS signing out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.